Father Loy Macedo, speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com and who's Loy Macedo. Today's date is February 18th, 2017. Time right now is 3.24 in the afternoon. Did I say Loy from LoyMacedo.com and who's Loy Macedo? I think I said that, yeah, whatever. Okay, don't forget, this program is sponsored by ThinkPersonalBranding.com. That's my online university, whereby I'll be sharing tips tricks, strategies, and stuff of how I make fucking money every single fucking day, and I enjoy life. So, maybe a link will be put below. Remember this, it's going to come out very soon, uh, because I just have to get that, you know, details sorted out, you know, secure stuff and all that. But anyway, uh, do stay tuned for that. Now, I got this question from Mr. Aaron Dean D. Souza, a very smart guy based in India, and he asked me this question, how to deal with the cutthroat <laughs> Bloodthirsty corporate world. Okay, so it's a very simple how to deal with the cutthroat. So if you're dealing with a cutthroat, just make sure that your throat is insured. Bloodthirsty, make sure that nobody can take your blood. Corporate world is corporate world. Okay, if you want a more serious answer to it. Okay, first and foremost, let me tell you. How to deal with a cutthroat, bloodthirsty corporate world. Number one, let's say for example, everyone else in that corporate world is from uh, let's say some ordinary university okay Birmingham University or Dubai University or uh, Maharashtra University or something like that and you come from Harvard Business School you just graduated with honors from Harvard Business School do you think they can compete with you no they can't compete with you. they'll be like oh my god he's from Harvard Harvard they can't do anything. So the first point what I'm trying to tell you is, let me write it down. Harvard uh, Business School. Okay, B-Z, B-U-S-I-N-E-A, Business School. Okay, because I just want to make sure that I tell you the points I remember. So the first point that I'm trying to say is, if you prepare well, if you prepare yourself well, you strategize smart and you make sure that um, um, you, you worked hard far more ahead, you know, like in advance, and you come there prepared, you will succeed. See, in order to get to Harvard Business School, it takes years and years and years of, me of studying, learning, preparing to get there. And once you get there, you need to bust your ass, you bust your balls, and then you become the best. So the first point is simply this, you need to prepare far ahead in advance. You need to work really very hard, and you need to ensure that your strategy is such that when you show anyone any qualification or anything, you are the best. So the first one is the Harvard Business School principle. So if you study very hard and you come up with a crappy university, well, obviously people are going to treat you like shit. So, uh, you know, you need to plan this out. So the first one is, you know, the Harvard Business School example. The second one, once you join that fucking place, okay, let me tell you this. This is Mercy First Total Happiness. Okay, I'll tell you what was I doing. Okay, now did you see this movie Pursuit of Happiness? That is Bill's, Bill Smith, Bill Smith, uh, who plays uh, the the role of uh, Robert. No, what is that? Uh, Chris Gardner. Chris Gardner. Yeah. Uh, have you seen that movie? You know, in that movie, what I really like is I love is uh, Bill Smith or Chris Gardner is going through all these difficulties and he's really desperate to get into this company he has this horrible interview whereby he has paint all over him and he desperately tries some way to convince them to take him no that's not the part which i'm trying to say that is you know desperate but look at it this way once he gets in once he gets in where everyone else is making a phone call going to the water cooler taking a sip of water talking to each other how does chris gardner do it he gives his phone stuck here he keeps his finger here, he keeps the water here so he can drink it easily and he keeps dialing one, he writes down, next, drinks water, he writes down. He, because he wants to save every possible fucking time. The principle here is he he is working harder than anyone else. He is preparing much more than anyone else. He is doing so much more than anyone else that nobody can touch him. You know, to quote the words of 1991 world champion of public speaking Toastmasters, who is my friend, Dave Ross, who I really admire. He said, it. you, you never let anyone out prepare you. Never. You'll always meet people who are more talented than you. You'll always meet people who are smarter than you. But... It's only you. It's only you. And this is in your hands. How hard can you work? You know, me, 
those words of Dave Ross, I have just locked it up in in my system, where I do not let any fucking person on this planet work harder than me. I work so fucking hard that I want to be the best. So you know, every time I keep thinking, okay, I'm going to compete there. I don't imagine it's my colleague who's there. I don't imagine it's it's another guy who's there. I imagine I'm going to compete with the world's best, the number one. He's there, the number one. So if I was a tennis player, I wouldn't look at working harder than some you know ordinary local hero. I would think to myself, maybe Boris Becker, uh, Ralph Nader, I don't know who are the new guys, Pete Sampras, or you know those big giants. They are going to compete there. So what I think to myself, how how can I work harder than them and defeat them? So when you start putting world class competition, you prepare world class. So the second one is do not let anyone out prepare you. And the example that I gave you is pursuit of happiness. Okay, last if not the least, how to deal with the cutthroat, bloodthirsty corporate world? And the answer is invest in yourself. What do I mean by invest in yourself? How much money do you spend into yourself? I'm not talking about clothes, cars, and all that gimmicks. Here, here. How much do you invest in yourself in terms of money? Do you buy books? Do you buy educational programs? Do you register for educational programs? One. Second one, do you invest time? Do you spend one hour to two hours every single day studying, reading, learning, growing? Then do you put the effort? Do you put the effort that is required? Just building muscles and a good physique is not enough. You need to make sure, you know, dogs, you know, you need to make sure that you put that effort. Because unless you put that, you're not going to succeed. So to summarize, to summarize, how to deal with the cutthroat, bloodthirsty corporate world. But wait, wait, wait. Let me give you one extra additional fucking point because you logged in. This is a point that nobody, you know, thinks about. You know, what I've done in every organization that I've joined, I made sure that I connected with the main, the big dog, the CEO or the boss. Why? And I became his student. I wanted to learn from him. I wanted to grow. I, I, I wanted to, you know, learn from his experience, his um, the wealth of knowledge that he has because he has real-time stuff. So the the third point, the, the fourth point, which I put is mentoring. Make sure you are mentored by the best in the industry or your boss or the CEO because he can really help you. So if I were to summarize all the points which I gave you, uh, one is the Harvard Business School principle. Uh, by that, you need to really prepare. You need to have a strategy. You need to think far ahead in advance so that your competition cannot touch you. The second one I give you is the pursuit of happiness. Uh, and I cited the example of Dave Ross, the 1991 world champion of public speaking Toastmasters. How did he win it? What he said is he would never let anyone out prepare him. Point number three is you need to invest in yourself, time, effort, money, boss. You need to do it every single day. And last one is you need to have yourself a mentor uh, who is the boss or the best in the industry. They will give you the strategies to help you succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So Aaron Dean D'Souza, I hope this answered your question. Have any more questions, send me an email. Love to hear from you. This is Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and it was Lloyd Macedo saying goodbye for now. And don't forget, think personal branding is my new online university. Want to make money? Want to know how do I live my life successfully? Please, link will be put below. Coming soon, join that. And this is me saying goodbye for now. Cheerio.